Well, this is your boy Heavy Starch. Uh, here today to talk about a new blaster I picked up at a Walmart, and that is the uh, Air Max Tyrant uh, from the Air, Air Warriors collection. Um, you see the young gentleman there holding it uh, with the. Uh, Wow, he looks crazy. Uh, with the weird smile and the questionable hairstyle. Looks like Mickey Dolan's of the Monkeys. Okay, I'm dating myself. But anyway, um, you got the instructions on the back of the package. And uh, what catches everybody's eye is the uh, ranges. It says blast up to 80 feet. And uh, actually, it does. It puts the uh, Centurion to shame. The Centurion is a piece of crap compared to this. This is hitting hard and fast and extremely accurate. I've been playing with it all afternoon. Uh, I love it. It's uh, compatible with um, uh, Mega Clips from the uh, Centurion, and it shoots Mega Darts also. So on the uh, packaging, you got the Air Max Baron. I saw that, wasn't interested in that. I still can't catch up with the Air Max Boss. Okay, now as far as the darts are concerned, um, uh, quality control kind of went to sleep on this. Looked like, you know, somebody just, just hot glued a tip on there, but actually these darts work rather well. And by them being suction darts, I mean, when they hit a wall, they smack hard. You can hear it. Okay, now here's the blaster itself. I'm a big guy. This blaster, the grip is cool. I got big hands. Like I said, I'm 6'6", 277 pounds. And uh, yeah, a little bit of overhang, but the grip is nice. Uh, you see the uh, design on there, you know, kind of futuristic. And you see the front grip in the front barrel. Uh, you see the barrel and you see the dart tooth or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Uh, there's the primer handle. You pull back, load the clip, forward, and fire. It gets excellent ranges. The clip is cool because it holds 12 rounds. So you can use this in a Centurion, you know, 12 rounds. But uh, this is really a badass blaster. I mean, the Tyrant is cool. And then you also got a ring in the back for a tactical sling. Uh, this, they hit the nail on the head with this one. It's a really nice blaster. It's really big. It's, it's, it's huge. Okay, now, let's see, let me set this down. Now, if you look at it in comparison to the, uh, let me sit this right here. Now, if you look at it in comparison to the uh, champion, you know, the AirTech champion, you know, I thought that was kind of big. It's tiny compared to his big brother. Now, the champion gets excellent ranges and performs well. This one is right on par. Busby has, you know, they really did a good job with this. They went into a market controlled by Nerf and uh, took some of Nerf ideas. Uh, should have should have been done this idea, you know, make everything Nerf compatible. So uh, this blaster is really, really nice. And uh, do I suggest you go out and get one? Hell yeah, this is nice, <laughs> okay. Uh, the trigger pull isn't the best, but it's not the worst. You know, like I said, the design of the blaster is cool and just the fact that it has a ring for a sling with something this big, yeah, you're gonna probably need it. But uh, this is nice. There's no uh, sling attachment point in the front, so I guess you have to use the uh, old single point tactical. But uh, this is the uh, Tyrant, the Air Max Tyrant, and uh, basically it's uh, putting the Centurion to shame. This is awesome. I fired the Centurion today, and then I fired this, and I was like, wow. So uh, as far as internals are concerned, I'm not tearing this open because I don't see any need to. It works awesome. And um, I only got one, and I only seen one, and uh, I'm not tearing it open. So I'm not going to crack the shell on that one. So, whoo, okay. Another one bites the dust. All right. <clears throat> Everybody's been going uh, ape shit over the uh, modulus. Now, I went and got the, um, the stealth kit, you know, stealth modulus kit, you know, so I uh, got the uh, in strike modulus system kit, whatever. Um, 
and you see the kid with uh right here with way too much crap on his blaster <laughs> okay now i'm not knocking the modulus but i'm gonna wait you know i've seen the stripped down version they had on amazon for like what 30 bucks or something like that it just came with a blaster not even clips or darts just a blaster uh like i say the only thing that i've been interested in i have except i haven't got the uh pistol stock but uh maybe later but the rest of it i'm really not too interested in unless i need something for a up and coming project now the handle right here is nice I may have broken mine you know because uh, I didn't pay attention to pushing the button you know what I'm saying and I think I forced it open and I may have messed it up you know one way you know locking when it's in the up position you know it's you know what I'm saying it's not locking fully so I may open it up and fix what I tore up but basically uh, you see this grip it's really nice got the feel of something uh, 3d printed doesn't look that comfortable but looks neat you know what I'm saying you can at least fold it out of your way you know you uh, press the orange button on the side and fold it so uh, this is what I've been wanting to get the pinpoint sight you know what I'm saying the holy grail of all nerfers the, the blue you know the blue one is just like hen's teeth nobody's ever seen them the ultimate holy grail. Now you too can have a pinpoint sight for the small price of $15. So uh, all of those people selling them on uh, Amazon and eBay for like $69, shame on you. That's retarded. Stop it. Okay, it came with this barrel and the barrel looks really neat. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have a blaster nearby me that I can try it on, but you know me, I'm going to paint it anyway, but the uh, blaster, you see the uh, ventilation holes on it or whatever, and you know the rest. But anyhow, um, the kits that go to the modulus, I would, uh, I would, the kits are awesome. It's just that, you know, Nerf, I love Nerf, but I refuse to pay $50 for essentially a $20 blaster, you know what I'm saying? Like most people tell you, I mean, you could take a strife and put it right where this picture of this is and all of this would work. You know what I'm saying? And as far as this handle is concerned, like I've said before, it looks like a damn travel iron to me. You know, the when you fold out and iron your pants in the hotel, it looks like a travel iron. I don't care. It's ugly. Anyhow, um, back to this. Like I said, the pinpoint sight is nice. You know what I'm saying? It's got like a... I don't know if you can tell this camera, the lighting right there. It's kind of, kind of a orange color, but it's kind of more like the pumpkin color. It, it more or less matches the demolisher colors, except maybe a little bit more denser. But um, like I said, I like this and uh, the Tyrant. Really nice blaster, and the blaster is humongous have to lean back to get it in frame this is a giant blaster it's fun the ranges are awesome the ranges are pretty much what stated i say with a little arc you hit 80 feet but you could you were hitting at least 70 feet flat i mean because it's it's really doing a job i mean i don't know how quality control is and maybe if yours might not be hitting but mine is and uh i like this I'm not really too crazy about the primer handle being on the top, but seeing as how the blast is designed and you can see from the shell, you know, it's got to have a monster uh, tube in there. So uh, anyway, would I tell you to go get the Tyrant? Yes. Busby has hit a home run with this new line that they came up with. Uh, they're aesthetically pleasing and they perform well. And for the price, oh, you can't beat that. So, um, Nerfers, this is Heavy Starch. Uh, don't hate, congratulate. Send a shout out to my boy Joe Cast, who's doing awesome things with the uh, 3D printing. And uh, send a shout out to Drac, uh, 
because he's been pumping the videos out big time. People keep telling me, well, don't you do as many videos as you do? This is not a competition. I just do this because it's a hobby and I like it. I told you when I told people in the past, when I when I stop enjoying this, I will cease doing it. I'm still enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, send a shout out to my boy Triple B, uh, Liam Nerf Mods, uh, Blaster Tech, Blast Away You, um, a cool little guy I like on uh, Instagram, Prince Nerf, um, and uh, my boy Latino Nerf, Latino Nerd, yeah, I like him. Um, that's about it. So, uh, oh yeah, the Nerf reporter Rob, Rob Poole, so that's about it. So, uh, this is Heavy Starch. Don't hate, congratulate. Peace. Don't buy that. Seriously, don't buy that.